control everything you believe you can and spirit is here to let you know you cannot control everything you can control yourself you can control how you respond to people or situations welcome pisces into your reading this is a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watchers are absolutely welcome. This is Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany, your friendly, intuitive, empathic tarot reader. Welcome back to all of my supporters. And if you're new here, welcome. Please consider hitting the like button subscribing and turning on notification. All right, I read intuitively, so please remember, take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you are getting this, it is meant for you to hear at that appointed time. Okay, Pisces, let's find out what Divine Spirit needs you to know. We're going to get your current energies, what your resistance can be, anything that could be crossing you or something that could be of conflict to you. And then we will get final outcome with the tarot. We will have clarifiers. Uh, more than likely, I will pull Oracle and an angel number for you as well, Pisces. Divine Spirit, what does our beloved Pisces need to know? Do tell. Pisces, Divine Spirit, what does Pisces need to know? Do tell. Current energies for Pisces, the Tower. The Emperor. Judgment, okay. Right, Pisces, right now, your current energies where uh, some of you, for some of you with this tower card coming up in your current energy, Pisces, what I'm feeling with this, there is a little bit of turmoil, but you will have a revelation. Okay, Pisces, there's some turmoil going on, but it is for your understanding, for your knowledge, understanding, and your wisdom, Pisces. Do not let this deter you. There is a revelation coming for some of you with this tower as your current energies. And then with the emperor in your area of resistance. So with this being in the area of resistance, this is like coming in reverse. So what I'm feeling for some of you with the emperor in your area of resistance, you are struggling with your authority. You are struggling with your control over what it is you can control. I feel like for some of you, you're trying to control things that are absolutely out of your control. I feel like you're resisting the fact that you can only control what you can control and you have a hard time going with the flow and minding what absolutely is within your power. You are struggling with your authority because you feel like you should be able to do control all sorts of things and that's not the case and then here in the final outcome we have the judgment card as your uh possible final outcome so with judgment showing up in the final outcome there is a rebirth there is a change there is a shift there is an awakening so and also to mention you do have aries in your reading pisces so this could be somewhere in your placements in your birth chart all right, let's go ahead and pull tarot to get some understanding of what Divine Spirit wants you to know at this time. The struggle with authority, the struggle with control. It is important, Pisces, to be mindful, to be careful, not to... Try to exert control over situations that are none of your business in certain respects, right? It's none of your business when you absolutely can't do anything about it, meaning it's out of your control. So be mindful that you're not doing that, okay? Four of Cups, Six of Cups, 
Mm -hmm. Emotional. This is interesting. Emotional because <sighs> cups is uh, the water element and Pisces is absolutely immutable water element sign, right? What else? Divine Spirit. Do tell. We're going to go ahead and cut this deck. Stayed on the table. Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. We're going to get the rest of the tarot out and get to it in a little while. All right. So Pisces with the Four of Cups. Six of Cups and Queen of Pentacles showing up in your current energy. For some of you, Pisces with the Four of Cups showing up. This is... Oh, this is interesting. This is you withdrawing. That's the withdrawal. Okay. This is the, the chaos that you might be feeling. And so you want to pull back with this Four of Cups. This is with that tower energy. You want to step away. You want to withdraw from it. You're contemplating and pondering, is this worth it? Whatever this thing is with the tower card, this, this chaos, I feel like you're over it. You're over it right now. For some of you, you're, you're like, I'm done with this. I'm stepping away from it. And that's interesting with this emperor coming up in the area of resistance. It's like you're getting the message that you can't control this. You're going to step back. Stop exerting, exerting so much energy. Stop trying to force something. Stop trying to force a square peg into a round hole. And then we have the six of cups showing up for you as well, Pisces. And what this is, what this is giving me is because you step back from the chaos, this six of cups is going to bring you reconciliation with the fact that you cannot control everything. You are going to, uh, come into harmony when you step back with this four of cups when you say I'm done with it I withdraw from this this chaos I withdraw from this confusion I don't want to play your game anymore so with that six of cups showing up alongside the four of cups you are coming into a balance you are coming into harmony is what I feel and then here is the queen of pentacles showing up for you Pisces which is absolutely beautiful because with the Queen of Pentacles, Pisces, you are beginning to nurture your emotional well-being with all of these cups showing up in your current energy. You are becoming more nurturing and understanding what is worth your time, energy, and effort. And therefore, you're recognizing not everything is worth your time, energy, and effort with this Four of Cups showing up. You're like, this is beyond anything that I control. So I will spend no more energy or effort on what I cannot control. And I will go with the flow and address address things at the appropriate time when I am able to control those said things. So with this queen of pentacles showing up, I feel like you're absolutely getting a clue. You're getting the picture. Let me be practical in how I spend my time, energy, and effort. Because when you step into that energy, that nurturing energy for yourself as queen of pentacles, your life begins to prosper in many areas, not just financially. You prosper in peace. You prosper in health. You prosper in mental well-being. Your emotions begin to stabilize. The chaos that is all around right now begins to diminish and go away. So with the emperor in your area of resistance showing up, that again, you are resisting the fact that you cannot control everything. You believe you can and spirit is here to let you know you cannot control everything. You can control yourself. You can control how you respond to people or situations and events that unfold, unfold in your life, but you cannot control everything, right? So let it, let's find out. Let's flip the tarot. You're exerting your strength in a way that is irresponsible, Pisces. For some of you, I feel that is what's happening. You're trying to exert your strength irresponsibly and forcing things that are not in your control. And that is not how you gain victory, right? 
You cannot exert control over those things that are none of your business, right? So you're constantly trying to defend why you're doing what you're doing. And for some of you, I believe you know it's not right. It's not correct. It's not responsible. This is all coming up in the area of resistance. You're defending behaviors that are unbecoming to you, Pisces, for some of you. And it's like, you know better, right? I'm feeling no better. You know better, Pisces. And you can change this. Only you can change this. And with the ten, ten of Pentacles showing up in the area of resistance, you are blocking your Ten of Pentacles moment, Pisces, by trying to exert power over situations that are none of your business, over situations or people that are none of your control, right? You are blocking your abundance. You are blocking your financial security. You are blocking an opportunity for wealth is what I'm feeling. And now here we have the final outcome with the judgment card showing up. So what I've said already, you have Aries and then you have... um Leo in your reading Pisces again these could be uh, a cross watcher could be Aries or Leo so welcome thank you for tuning in but with the final outcome and judgment in your final outcome there is an awakening there is absolution coming towards you there's an inner calling to your intuition is is directing your steps so let's see what that looks like with the tarot all right, you got Aquarius showing up in your reading as well, Pisces. So in this final outcome with the the inner calling, the intuition, here we have the star card, right? This you are you are hopeful when you step back and realize you cannot control everything, you become more peaceful, you become more serene. Uh, you are inspired to do more of what you can control and do less of what you cannot control. You are really intentional about your time, energy, and effort is what I'm feeling here with this final outcome. And then we have the magician. This is because you understand much better what it is you can control. You are in a place of creating the life of your desire. You are in a place of manifesting the things that you want more of in your life. You become more resourceful. You become more powerful in your personal power because you understand control what you can control and go with the flow of those things that are out of your control. And then the page of sh swords also shows up in your final outcome, Pisces. Okay. So with the page of swords showing up, you have new perspectives on how you move and operate, what it is you exert time, energy, and effort to. You, um, you are curious about any of your new abilities. Um, you are vigilant about not stepping backwards and becoming... I hate to use this word, but trying to be or of becoming a narcissist. And that is not what this we don't want you to do that. I'm not calling anyone a narcissist. I'm just feeling the energy of this emperor being in an area of resistance. It feels like someone is on the edge of narcissistic behavior. And we don't want that for you, beloved Pisces. Right. So you understand much better of what not to do, not to step back into that energy or on the edge of narcissistic behavior. OK, Pisces, that's what I'm feeling with this. All right. Right. So I'm going to pull some more tarot for clarification i want three more cards for clarification divine spirit if you will for our beloved pisces sun moon rising venus cross watching because we have some aries some leo and some aquarius in this reading so i feel like those are the cross watchers here that could also be placements for the beloved Pisces, they could have, you may have Aries, Leo, or Aquarius in your birth chart. Okay. Three more divine spirit. Mm -hmm. Eight of cups. Mm hmm. King of Pentacles. One more Divine Spirit. Oh, we got two more. I'll take them. Okay. Eight of Cups. King of Pentacles. And 
Page of Cups with Six of Cups, right? We have Six of Cups twice. So that's the universe saying, um, I said what I said with this Six of Cups showing up twice. In your reading, Pisces, this is a sign of harmony is yours when you reach for it. Reconcile within yourself that you cannot control everything. Everything is not in your control. You cannot exert and force power or wield power recklessly or haphazardly, Pisces, with this Six of Cups showing up twice. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Cups here and for some clarification. I feel like it's absolutely clarifying this Four of Cups. It's reiterating the Four of Cups with this Eight of Cups showing up in your reading because this is you also withdrawing, emotionally withdrawing from trying to control um, those things that are out of your control. So this is confirmation. This is, I said what I said, right? King of Pentacles. With this King of Pentacles, Pisces, this is your opportunity to be a true leader. This is a, a true leader does not force anyone to believe that a true leader does not wield power and authority recklessly. Um, but here's your opportunity with this King of Pentacles, Pisces, to show true leadership and understand and be secure in who you are, what you offer, and what you bring to the table. Um, the King of Pentacles is also pointing to wealth. So the wealth that you can create for yourself with this magician, right? So then we have, the again, the Page of Cups that is showing up with the Six of Cups. So this Page of Cups showing up for you, Pisces. This is believing in your intuition, being sensitive to what your intuition is sharing with you so you may discern and move accordingly and do those things that bring you more joy, more serenity, more peace, more stability, more wealth, more financial abundance. The page of uh, cups is here to remind you to do, to be sensitive and listen to your intuition. Be sensitive to the emotional cues you're getting from people you interact with. Don't just glaze over what you can see their emotional state is when they're interacting with you. For some of you, I feel like your, your behaviors could be diminishing someone else's emotions, right? We all have emotions. We all have feelings. They're not right or wrong. They just are. But when emotions are shared with you or displayed to you, it is a compassion. It is a grace to validate someone else's emotions. That does not mean you agree with them, but to validate and let them know they are seen, they are heard, and we respectfully disagree. But I feel like for someone out there, you have glazed over others' emotions. You have been less than sensitive to what someone else is telling you how they feel or what you what you've done ha and how that has made them feel and spirit is cautioning you not to do that not to behave that way because you don't want that to happen to you right pisces okay you want uh, a serene life you want peaceful interactions you want to uh, be around people who validate your emotions, even if they disagree with how you're reacting to something, but they they see you, they hear you. So be sensitive to others' emotions. That's what I'm getting with this Page of Cups energy. <clears throat> I want to pull an oracle from Priestess of the Light. Oracle. All right, Divine Spirit, what... What advice do you have for Pisces? A single card, Divine Spirit, for Pisces. Bright heart light, open connections. Okay, this is very poignant. This is Spirit speaking up. What I just said is, you know... 
being sensitive <clears throat> to how others respond to you or what emotions they are sharing with you, what feelings they're sharing with you. Bright heart, light, open connections. What I feel with this is this is a time to show your humanitarianism to others to be wise in how you respond and treat, respond to and treat people is what I'm feeling with this bright heart light oracle, right? Having those open connections, open connections allow for us to be sensitive to others' emotions. It's sensitive to how they're behaving. And this is not just to say uh, sensitive to how they're behaving, to know that, you know, if something is not um, something makes them feel uncomfortable. This is also sensitive to others' behaviors that are undesirable to you. So being sensitive to your own emotions on how someone else makes you feel and know, know within yourself, this is unacceptable to me. I will share it with them. And if they do not validate my feelings and just glaze over them, I know I cannot trust to be around this person. They do not see me. They do not um, recognize that I'm, I have emotions that are sometimes negative and it could be at the cost of what they've done. So it's sensitive to your own feelings and how you feel around others. Is it safe to be around others? Can you be yourself around others? Do they pre, uh, do they make you feel, or do they put off an energy that you feel you have to code switch around these people, this person. You have to be sensitive to that as well because you're not, you should not have to code switch. You should be able to be your authentic self, Pisces. I feel like someone needs to hear that. Thank you. So open connections, being open. And this is a time for humanitarianism on your part, Pisces. Be, humor, be more humane. Be sensitive. Be open. Have your emotional intelligence work in your favor and not against you is what I'm feeling with this. Um, you are able to attain. You are able to attain more uh, authentic connections is what I'm feeling with this. When you use your your heart, your bright heart light and you let your heart shine. You can attain more meaningful connections. You can attain more um, authentic experiences in the world with this bright heart light, right? I'm gonna pull, <clears throat> I'm going to pull an angel number for you, Pisces, before I close out this reading. Again, please remember to take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. There's your angel number. All right. Let's see what that is. All right, so angel number for our beloved Pisces, 0330. 0330 is your angel number, Pisces. This says, lucky shirt. Love, peace, hope, and optimism. Transferring responsibility to others. Progress, creativity. Pursue your goals and get what you want. It will provide wonderful benefits for you and the people you hold dear. Your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which will make it easier for you to interact with a broad spectrum of individuals. Okay, see, Divine Spirit is poignant, always on time. None of this is happenstance. It is always Divine Connection. So when I'm saying the open, when we've gotten open connectedness for you, Pisces, and the bright heart light, and then here we have on your angel number card, your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which will make it easier for you to interact with a broad spectrum of individuals. Because your emotional intelligence is heightened, because you are operating with a bright heart light and, and, and living and being from your heart, having open connections, it is beneficial to you. It is beneficial to those you interact with. You will create more meaningful connections, more authentic connections is what I'm getting with this, Pisces. Your improvement of communication happens because you are aware you are emotionally intelligent and you can get the cues from someone else's emotions as well as your own. You're more receptive to your own emotional cues in situations dealing with people or events that happen in your life. This is absolutely, 
absolutely appreciate it. Thank you, Divine Spirit, for connecting all of this for our beloved Pisces. So, Pisces, I hope this resonates with you. You get meaningfulness from this and pointing you the way forward. Again, this is timeless. So whenever you receive this message, it was meant for you to hear at that appointed time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I have for you. I will see you soon. Until then, take care.